Hi guys, welcome back to another episode, Dear the Mike. Right behind me is the Mark II Infrared Shed Find, Hedge Find, Barn Find. I skews the mannequin behind me, yeah? That's a long story. It is a family heirloom and for some reason it's taken residence on the table behind the video. So it is what it is. I might put a blanket over it if I get complaints. Anyway, um... Behind me is the Mark II Infrared Chopper. It's coming along nicely. I'm pleased. Bear in mind, I'm no bike mechanic. And um, I'm very cat-handed and clumsy. And uh, I've got a terrible memory. And I forget where I put things. Anyway, I've managed to lose so far one bolt. It's just gone somewhere in the garage. Christ knows where. I've been filming it off and on the last couple of days. So, again... Another episode tonight, about 10, 15 minutes long. Same again tomorrow, and the same again Thursday, and the same again Friday, and hopefully I'll manage to put out one video per night this week. Um, hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment, thumbs up, hit the like, and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I deal in bikes. I love to find rally choppers and rally burners and anything vintage, industrial, from the 80s, 70s. I love this sort of stuff. I'm learning as I go along. So, yeah, leave a comment and I'll, I'll leave you to my little bits of filming. Thanks for watching. Right, we're making progress on the old chopper. The back wheel is off. So I can access some more of the paintwork. I can access the mudguard and the rear brake. Sadly, I came to the conclusion that, um, well, this is the, the muck from the removal of a wheel. A bit of WD. A few spanners kicking about. The seat's off as well. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, these rear dynamos, everything was rusty and broken. Um, the wires are snapped out of the dynamo. I came to the conclusion that I was going to remove them all and probably not put them back on again. Just maybe add some, some correct, period correct, ever ready rear lights um but yeah the seats off i can now gain access to the city bar clean that up just to add nothing is getting re-chromed i will replace anything that needs fixing so obviously i'll replace the brake cables because they're completely shot this back brake it's been a bugger to get off. It really is. I've WD'd it, but it's becoming a bugger. But yeah, brake blocks will get replaced. But yeah, there's been some nice mileage on those brake blocks. They're pretty worn down. This bike was certainly used. But yeah, I wonder why it's parked up for all those years. It's sad, really. But anyway. That chrome, that brake, if you look at that rust, look, that's just dirt. So yeah, pretty good. Nice progress. All right guys, there's a seat. So you've got a big rip there, which I might try and re-glue. I'm not too sure yet. Maybe re-glue that. But the frame is pretty shot. Um, that's that dent. I was talking about the indentation. The back seat plate is... Um, had it, I think. The chopper sticker is all peeling. You know. I don't want to go down a route of maybe trying to fix that but um reflectors okay 
this whole seat plate though is completely rotten. I don't, you know, and I like the fact that it has that damage, but um, I'm not sure yet. In my parts drawer, I do have, well, I purchased for eight quid, one on eBay for eight pounds, a new seat plate. So tell me your thoughts, guys. Do I try and clean up that existing seat plate? It will clean better, but the chrome has gone. Obviously, that's gone. That seat plate there still has some nice... Oh, sorry, guys. That seat plate there still has some nice age to it. But that's not a reflector. That's not a chopper reflector. That's a bomber reflector. So obviously I'll, I'll take that reflector out, put that in here, and then you've got a decent seat plate that can go on. I think that'll look much better. Yeah. So, um, yeah, tomorrow I might remove, there's two screws there, one and two, remove that seat plate, take the reflector out of this and put it into here so i'm still keeping the original reflector and then i'm going to try and go about maybe recovering the seat put a new cover on the seat tell me your thoughts yeah i've removed one pedal the other one is really difficult to get off it's not being easy i'm still put some wd overnight let it soak in but yeah once bits are off it, you can see that this frame is actually in really good condition. There are surfaces of rust and chipping, but a lot of the actual grime will come off. I still want to keep the rust on it, the marks, this bike has to show its age. Focus, that's it. This bike has to show its age. And I think just by taking off what's broken, fixing what is broken, like the lights were broken, you know, ideally you keep them on. I'm still going to keep on the speedo and the front light. The front light is snapped. You see that, guys? So that's the dynamo light. Um, that snapped off. I still might keep that on for a bit of age. And the speedo is obviously linked to the back wheel. There's a back wheel there. So the speedo is linked to that. That snapped the, um, the Sturmy Archer gear linkage is snapped. Once I get a new wheel, I'll source a back wheel. I'll try and keep the hub. And if I can get that speedo to be reconnected. Those are things that will be further down the line. I've not yet sourced a back wheel. Um, but yeah, once I get a back wheel, the hub will get changed over. And um, to keep its age, yeah. But yeah, you can see the back wheel, can't you, how it's deteriorated. Completely knackered. Yeah, it's quite good though. But yeah, that'll be a video on its own. To get that hub changed over will be a video on its own. So that's the old um, gear cable there. So that's snapped off there when the back wheel's taken off. So that'll need a whole new gear cable. It goes from there all the way to here, along here into the the free speed mechanism. So I've got a parts list in a minute. I've got to source new brake cables, new gear cable, two new wheels, replacement wheels. Um, yeah, ideally it will look like that at some point. But um, anyway, let's carry on. And there we are. 
close up of the springs, the rack, the mud guard. I'll take that off, but um, it seems to be broken at its mounting point there. Those um, screws there, I've tried getting them off, but it's been so tight. They really are tight to get off. But I'll keep persevering and um, see how we get on with them. Sorry, guys, the camera's not focusing very well today. <coughs> um, the paint works looking good. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see the original infrared. I'm going to get a little Brillo pad, like a little wash knot pad. I don't want this here to look just like that. I still want to keep its age. Some of this is obviously surface rust, but a lot of it is just ground in dirt and grime. But um, I'm still pleased with my pie purchase. I'm still pleased with the bike. I've got no regrets about buying it. It wasn't cheap, but we'll do the numbers on it once it's done. That seat post is obviously stuck. Um, I wouldn't mind getting that out, to be fair. If I can source a replacement seat, but still keep well, if I can keep the reflector off the old bike, so if I can keep that seat reflector. But, you know, that's obviously stuck in, isn't it? So you want to try and source, keep as many original parts as possible. But if something's physically broken, then why keep that? Maybe glue the seat post back to the tube. You know, a seat back to a seat post. I don't know, but I've got to think about that one again. That's another expense. A seat, a new seat is 70 quid, 80 quid. But think what a new seat would look like on that. Look lovely, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, so far, so far, I'm pleased, and I, and I hope you're looking forward to these weekly, well, these daily uploads. Um, yeah. Tomorrow's night episode will just be about trying to bring this paintwork back to some sort of brightness. I want this to look like that, but not as bright. The chopper transfer sticker is still in really good condition. Um, I've got to free up these so I can put the new gear console on I've got to free them up um, that's the cable for the light yeah so far I'm enjoying taking it apart and learning where things go um, but yeah looking good right but I need to do some more cleaning with this so I think I'll do that tomorrow